tropical storm force winds are already lashing parts of Louisiana. Hurricane Gustav roars through the Gulf, charged with 115 mile an hour winds. It's a category three storm now, the same strength as Hurricane Katrina was when it made landfall three years ago. Gustav's winds would need to grow another 15 miles an hour before the storm is upgraded to category four status. Forecasters say that's not likely, predicting Gustav will make landfall as a category three sometime during the day on Monday. Officials all along the Gulf Coast have warned residents to get out, and most did some packing shelters far inland after being evacuated by air. They got a category five storm like they said, it's going to tear it up like it did before. But not everyone left. One man in New Orleans says he plans to keep his store open to feed the National Guard troops and police who stay behind to protect the city. We're going to stay open until, <laughs> until the first wave comes. I don't know. <laughs> it's, it's, hopefully we can stay open throughout, throughout the whole thing. We're not leaving. But the storm that New Orleans Mayor Ray Negan has called the storm of the century is impacting events far outside the Big Easy. Republicans gathering in St. Paul are already feeling the effects. The party has scaled back convention events, and President Bush says he won't speak there on Monday. Instead, he's heading to Texas to talk to evacuees and monitor the storm's path. Or Larissa Associated Press.